Before you watch this video, please do well to subscribe and turn the notification bell on, let us grow the gospel together. Masturbation is sex with demons. If you masturbate, you will be poor forever. Your wealth, good luck, and happiness have been donated to demons. Masturbation is sex with demons. It defiles and destroys your body, the temple of the Holy Spirit. 1 Corinthians 3:16. Don't you know that you yourselves are God's temple and that God's Spirit dwells in your midst? Masturbation is common in harlots, people working from Arab countries where Sharia law applies. Please whether you are a man or a woman, stop what you are doing and watch this video now. Each time you masturbate, you donate sperm to the demonic kingdom. Masturbation is like having sex in dreams, each time you release, you are impregnant a demon, and as a woman, each time you are masturbating, you are having sex with a demon and sometimes get pregnant by a demon. You see yourself carrying while not married or not meeting anyone. Have you ever wondered how you see yourself with children or breastfeeding a baby in dreams when physically you have none? That's the demon or demons you gave birth to. I believe most of you who are prone to this habit always have this dream. Masturbation is a spirit, a demon. This spirit of darkness does not come alone, it is accompanied by the spirit of lust. Spirit of lust includes lust of eyes, the lust of the taking flesh, you will never get satisfied even if you get sex every day. It is one of the spirits that takes people to pornography and all sorts of sexual immorality. 1 Corinthians 6 18-19 Flee from sexual immorality. Every other sin a man commits is outside his body, but he who sins sexually sins against his own body. Do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have received from God? You are not your own. Masturbation is about thoughts and imagination. It's the result of not casting down imaginations and bringing thoughts to the obedience of Christ, 2 Corinthians 10 5, we demolish arguments and every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God, and we take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ. Satan can feed us thoughts and imaginations into our minds when he is not in us, from a distance, afar off. When you entertain his thoughts imaginations and voices, you find yourself doing what he wants, masturbating, sinning. As you fantasize or imagine about his thoughts and imaginations, demons start manipulating your body, making you masturbate, you cannot see them physically with your eyes but they are there. Today the enemy has come up with sex toys, sex objects, to aid masturbation, to steal kill, and destroy humanity completely. Sex toys are an industry of the devil. Pornography is a fuel of masturbation. Masturbation is a sin that grows very fast into addiction, masturbation can result from the generational curse, inherited from generation to generation. Our parents and forefathers never tell us the sins they did, addictions and curses they were in, then when we and our children start inheriting these curses, most of us blame God, others and see God in a bad light. If you are in masturbation do not be surprised if your children and grandchildren are in masturbation too. Spiritual husband and wife are also a cause of masturbation. Spiritual husband and wife are of the harlot kingdom which includes Jezebel, marine kingdom. One must be masturbating in dreams but because they are not doing it physically, they say they are not masturbating it was due to excess sperms, you are lying to yourself. In the same manner, people have sex in dreams but deny that they are in sexual immorality because they are not doing it physically, it is a lie, denying yourself deliverance, freedom. What spirit of masturbation does? Masturbation is a spirit of Satan whose work is to steal kill and destroy, John 10:10. 10, 10. when a chief comes to your house he has to first tie or bond you. Masturbation is a demon that lobs us all our happiness because each time you release your sperms you donate your happiness to Satan or demons. 
It also leads to the birth of demonic spiritual children who are always in war with real God-given children. Masturbation defiles and destroys the temple of the Lord, the body, 1 Corinthians 3:16, and after then the Holy Spirit leave and you are closed with the spirit of rejection. It destroys the body that you cannot fulfill your wife or husband nor be fulfilled, 1 Corinthians 7 3, the husband should fulfill his marital duty to his wife, and likewise the wife to her husband. It destroys the body of a man that a man can pass out sperms with just a thought or imagination, it's one cause of premature ejaculation. Masturbation is coupled with the spirit of lust which makes human beings behave like animals, from their thoughts, they develop uncontrollable desires and urges, you become like an animal. Masturbation causes stagnation with no breakthrough, every person who masturbates, watches pornography, and is involved in any form of sexual immorality, is in life stagnation in one way or another. Masturbation, pornography, and all forms of sexual immorality shut doors that if you were supposed to be in point B you never move from point A but stagnant at point A. When the enemy knows in the spiritual realm that a breakthrough or blessings are coming, he makes you masturbate or be involved in any form of sexual immorality, and by that he has shut your blessings, breakthrough, dash he has stolen. And this is the biggest cause of stagnation in many people in the church today. By using the door of masturbation, the enemy can bring you any curse, affliction, and torment as he will, he can steal us through sin, the wages of sin is death. Romans 6 23 are not from God but a result of the enemy has gotten a door to us through sin. Many people desire marriage but cannot get it because masturbation, pornography and sexual immorality has shut it from them and funny enough these demons are jealous ants they're in control they even make the woman lose appetite for sex. The solution to masturbation. Masturbation is a spirit of darkness, a demon. Spirits are not fought physically but spiritually, it's not a fight against blood and flesh, Ephesians 6:12. for our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. The world tells you to get rid of everything that makes you masturbate, spiritual things cannot be fought physically these are spirits and that's why you see that after saying I will not do it again the spirit comes and tells you one more when the urge comes, you find yourself back to those things. What spirits of darkness do is to give you the spirit of urge or passion you cannot stop or resist but only obey, a spirit that controls and manipulates you as it wills. The first step to freedom is accepting, acknowledging who you are. Accept you are in masturbation, say or confess, I masturbate. And what you hide can become but when you expose it, it will shrink, Ephesians 5:13. in Christ Jesus we do not hide or cover our sins, curses, afflictions, torments, for if we hide we will not be delivered, set free, saved. Many so-called Christians I have come into contact with use Bible quoting, Bible verses tithes, sacrifices, to hide their afflictions, torments, curses, this cannot work better admit confess and be set free. Accept you masturbate and hide it not, therefore, confess your sins to one another and pray for one another, that you may be healed, James 5:16. The second step after accepting repent your sins including your forefathers' sins, Ask Jesus to wash your sins with the blood he shed on the cross and deliver you from the demons involved slash associated with those sins. Ask Jesus Christ where your deliverance is and run to it, run to him. Remember there is time to pray and time to run physically to Jesus Christ. Then running to Jesus Christ both physically and spiritually, he is faithful, he will deliver and sets you free. Deliverance in Jesus Christ casts out the spirits, the cause of the desires urges, and passions. When Jesus Christ delivers you from masturbation, you have no desire, no urge to masturbate at all, even the imaginations, thoughts, and dreams disappear. Many people claim to be delivered but they are still in desires, urges, lusts, battling with flesh, 
sinning in dreams, they are lying to themselves, you are not yet delivered. In Jesus Christ, we do not starve the flesh, beat it, like Baal worshippers and what religion does, but we live in freedom. Freedom is where you have no urges, desires, lusts, passions, etc., of sinning or doing what is wrong. If I was delivered, believe in my Jesus Christ, he will deliver you too. Many people in the church today are masturbating in one way or another, covering it with a blanket because no one sees them, they do not see Jesus delivering people from it, some of their churches have told them masturbation is not a sin, their preachers never tell them the things they passed through and were delivered because they are still in them knowing nothing about Jesus Christ's deliverance. Masturbation is sin and a curse. Masturbation it can make men's bodies weak. Male or females who engage in it are perverts. Masturbation causes performance problems. The spiritual effects of masturbation. Number 1. Late marriage. Are you doing the act and you are experiencing delay in getting married? You are almost 30 years now and no man is looking your way. Are you a man and you do not want to get married because you believe that you are not yet ready, even though you are well to do? It could be that it is the spirit of masturbation that is disturbing your destiny. You need to stop the dirty act, confess your sins and go to a very powerful man of God for proper deliverance. Number 2. Bad luck. Masturbation and bad luck are synonymous my dear. I know that many people will say that they know people who are doing it and are living the good life. I agree with you. But do you know that such people may be having some form of negative attacks and bad luck but they will never tell you. Life is like social media, people will only tell you what they want you to know. They can never tell you their problems because of self-preservation. So next time when you want to compare yourself with others, just know that graces are different. Stop the act now and be free from all forms of bad luck. Number 3. Disappointment. There are beings that controls the spiritual, while the spiritual controls the physical. So it depends on the kind of spirit you are inviting to control the outcome of your life. Most people who engages themselves in the act always encounter one form of disappointment or the other in life. Somebody may promise to give you a gift or a job, all of a sudden the person forgets you totally. Or when it is time for the person to call you, they will just lose interest in you? It happens not once, not twice, and you think it's ordinary. Please go and see a very strong man of God for prayers. Number 4. Spiritual Spouses one thing about people who masturbate often is that they always see themselves making love in their dreams. You and I know that such dreams are highly demonic and possessive. If you are doing the act and you often see yourself having such dreams, then it could be that you are in a bondage of spiritual wife or husband. You have to stop doing that and change for the better before it will be too late. Number 5 vulnerable to attacks. People who masturbates a lot are more vulnerable to spiritual attacks from the underworld. Because they have driven the presence of God from their lives through the sin of masturbation, their lives is now like an open book. Any evil entity can come into their lives and toil with their souls anyhow it pleases them. This is not a make-up story or maybe you think I'm trying to scare you. All what I'm saying is from the confession and testimonials of people who have been in this bondage before. So don't take it for granted please, change. Number 6. It shuts open doors. If you are into the act and you noticed that your life has not been the same again, then you need to watch it. One of the spiritual side effects of masturbation is that it shuts down open doors. You will begin to experience that what others are going into and making it big, you will go there and your life will not amount to anything. Even the ones you already had will be depreciating and you will start losing out of life gradually. 
What this spirit does is that it makes you less busy in life, so as to have enough time to pleasure yourself and please the evil spirit. Please try and see a pastor if this is your case. Number 7. Spirit of Laziness. One of the negative effects of the act is that it makes you to become very lazy that all you want to do is sleep. Most especially when you are done pleasuring yourself. Most times you will see yourself procrastinating on important things that needs to be done because you want to touch yourself. Sometimes it gets so bad that it affects your competency and even threatens your job. It is very dangerous and a destructive act change from it and set your soul free. Number 8. Sodomic Spirit. People who involves themselves in the act sometimes ends up having a sodomic urge over time. Whether you believe it or not, it is the plain truth, unless you want to lie to yourself. They always end up lusting after their fellow gender. They will find themselves getting attracted to the same gender instead of the opposite. The sodomic evil spirit will make them think that they cannot get satisfaction from the natural way God created it to be. And many of them ends up becoming bisexual if proper care is not taken. It is a very disturbing situation that you shouldn't venture into. Many of you would be so rich by now but because masturbation distance is not a barrier, I pray for anyone who will leave a comment at the bottom or share to 20 people this message, the demon that is eating your fortune will divorce you forever in the mighty name of Jesus. I return your fortunes in Jesus' name. Please subscribe, like this video, and drop your comments.